Hello, my friends. Welcome to this new video. Today, we're going to talk about the push button. So to start this, uh, we're going to need the last project that we did in the in the last uh, video, where I explained about the connection between Studio 5000, Factory Top View, the Emulate 5000, and RC Links. So for that, if you haven't seen this video, I recommend to follow this uh, link and start doing it. So if you already have it, so let's get started. So this is the, the result of the last video and is when we push the button here, the indicator turns on. And we can see how this works in the PLC side. But now we're not gonna talk about much about the PLC, we're gonna more talk about the uh, factory to view side and see how we can configure the push button. For example, let's open it and see what we have here. So we have all the main uh, configuration that we can do. We're gonna start with appearance, and this is so simple. Uh, here, for example, we're gonna talk about the border style. Right now it's raised. We can do, for example, line, flat, and it's more flat. Here, the border width, we can do it bigger. For example, let's do eight, and let's do uh, rise again. So now it's bigger. Can put a three smaller for example we do eight and uh, this part is, is is talking about how it's gonna be the highlight color once you push the button for example right now is this one you can see when i push it how it looks like and i can change that color for example to this one and we can see the difference okay so Another thing that we can change here is the back style can be solid or transparent or gradient. For example, transparent, we can see how it's gonna, we're gonna be able to see through the push button or gradient, it's, uh, it's like this. Okay, we're gonna keep the solid, it's the most, most common. And here is pretty simple, it's just the shape. Right now it's rectangle, we can do circle, we can do, uh, ellipse we're gonna do right now rectangle let's do it again and i like more raised so let's continue here this part is more about the plc so maybe you know more about this but this means normally open what means is whenever the push button is released the the contact is gonna be open whenever the push button is pushed the contact is going to be closed. So we can see it here. We already saw it, but let's see it again. When I push it, the contact closed. When I release it, the contact open, opens. So here, this is inverted, normally closed. So what it does is whenever we, we have the push button release, this is closed. Whenever we push the button, the contact is open. So it's just inverted. So here it's gonna depend what is your application, what, how you need it. Most of the time it's gonna be normally open. This one hold time is gonna be the time that the, the HMI is gonna hold that push button pushed. For example, right now it's 250 milliseconds. Let's do the biggest one just to see the difference. So I'm gonna apply. And when I push the button, it's on. Now I'm gonna release the button and the push button is gonna stay on right now. Let's do it here. I'm not pushing the button, but it's still on for five seconds. Again, okay. still on for five seconds. So it's, in other words, it, the push button is, is, is keep pushed for this amount of time. Of course, the, most of the time, we're gonna need only 250 milliseconds for the PLC to get the information. And here the margins is, touch margin is where you can push the button. For example, right now it's zero, which means that you can push the button in any place of the push button. Wherever you push, you can get it. But if you put, for example, here in vertical, let's do 20 to make it big. And I push the button here, nothing happened until I 20 pixel inside. So here I can push it, but here I cannot. And that is for vertical. 
we can do it for horizontal. I'm sorry, for horizontal, we can do it for vertical. Let's do 30 here. Well, let's do only 10. Okay. And here, I cannot push it. And now I can push it. So that's what it is for. So let's go back to zero. And the last one is the audio. I love to remove this because I don't like the, the sound, especially when I do testing. So you can remove it. And I don't know if you can hear the, the noise, but I can hear it. So it is a sound that is coming out of the computer in this case. It's gonna be in the HMI if you're doing the HMI and when you push the button. So I, I prefer this one. Okay, so we are done with the first one, which is general. Let's go to the next one, which is a state. So in this place, uh, in factory talk view, we use a lot these select states uh, more uh, in the follow videos. I'm gonna talk about another different um, objects where we use several states. In this case, the push button only uh, check for two uh, and three, which is the error. So if we have the value zero, uh, we're gonna show something. If we have the value one, we're gonna show something else in this case. So we can select what we wanna show in the, the push button with these two states. For example, the first one is the caption. We can put whatever we want. For example, um, I don't know, it's, let's say, um, out, auto, it's gonna be auto. And the other one is gonna be in cycle, for example, and apply. Okay, you're gonna see that it's in order when I push the button, change to in cycle. Okay, but we can put more configuration than that. For example, the back color can be different. For example, let's do this. Well, let's do, I don't know, this one. And for zero, we're gonna do uh, this other one. So we can see the different cycle. Um, I don't like how it looks like this. So I'm gonna go back to this one. And let's go to, so that is for that. The border color, we can change it as well. The pattern can be known, means it's solid, but we can put dots, for example. I don't like at all, at all, so I just want to show you. The the blink is interesting. For example, if it's something important, you can put a blink. And when you push the button, or when the, pu the push button is pushed, it's going to blink. Of course, you can change the color and everything. But it's interesting. That is the blink for the, the color. But you can blink as well. Um, Oh no, it's only that one, sorry. So yeah, that is for the color. Here you can change the, what is the kind of of font you want. For example, here's uh, Arial Black. We can change the, the color of the font. Simple, let's do this one. No, let's do this one. It looks different. And that is independent for each of these. Oh, it hit, this is a, I'm sorry, there is a caption, caption blink. For example, let's do the caption blink. We're gonna do play, when I push it. Now it's not blinking the whole push button. It's only blinking the, the letters. So you can decide how you want it. What else here? Of course, we can change when you, where you want the, how the, the alignment of the font. For example, this is to the left to the top center, to the corner. Of course, most of the time it's gonna be just the center. Uh, the caption back style can be changed. So you, you can change this back of the of the font. So most of the time it's gonna be just solid. Here, of course, it's more like a on the line or whatever you, you need for for your font. So it's just something very similar to Microsoft Word. So I don't think it's very confused. And uh, here we can add as well an image. For example, let's do here. You can add a 
from file or you can just launch library and select whatever you want and for example let's do this one and see how it looks like to just have to do a double click and to be what was the name let me see again okay but i'm sorry double click and then paste you put the name here is uh, let's do test okay and yeah to be in test here so we can do okay apply so it's there so in this case, of course, we need more like a circle. We can go back and do a circle and uh, make it bigger maybe. And it look like that. Of course, it doesn't look very nice, but you can keep working on it until you have the push button you want. Here, let's do another that is more simple. For example, a arrow, arrow right. is more simple we remove this looks like that and just to see here of course we can change move the the image as well and here we can do the same that with the with the caption we can put a back solid or back transparent and that's it that is for the states and it's a lot of configuration. Of course, it looks ugly right now. You can make it better. And here in comments, this is something that we have in all, or at least I think almost all, the the objects. It's the the size and the position and the name. And of course, if you want it to be visible, but so here it's for example the this is X and Y. So if you well, let's do the position. If you want to do top, and the the point we're talking about is this corner. So we put zero here in the top. It's gonna go to the top. If we put zero here, it's gonna be to the left. And then you can start playing if you if you need to. Sometimes you want to do uh, several objects at the same position, so you can just come here and put the same numbers. And you're gonna get them, for example. And here is, of course, the how big it's gonna be. Let's go to the rectangle again, and uh, let's go to change this. So it's gonna be sixty, for example. And that's it, the last one, of course, is the most important one. We already talked a little bit about in the last video. It's the connections here. We can select which is gonna be the the one that is the, the, the tag that the push button is gonna change in the PLC. And the easiest way is just go to tag and go to your shortcuts. In my case is, I'm sorry. My case is link and and online we can select which one is gonna be. In this case was TV. Okay. And here the indicator is uh, so there are two different stuff. First is what the the HMI or the factory tool view is sending to the PLC. That is the value. And the other one is the indicator. If you if you don't put anything in the indicator. What is gonna happen is the the indicator is gonna change with the value, which is what is happening right now. Whenever you change the value, the indicator changed. But you can do another tag here, different. For example, let's do here just to play with it. I do another. Uh, and I copy and paste this wrong. Control C, Control U, U, V, and here let's do PV two. Let's make it new, create, and this is gonna be lamp two. Let's create this one as well. Create, and let's assemble of this. And for example, we can put lamp two here. 
easy to so let's go here refresh everything lamp 2 for example doesn't make sense but i just want to show you what's the difference within within the push button so if i push the button now it doesn't change because the indicator is the two but when i do this <coughs> toggle bit it changed so i want to let you know how is different the value which is changing the or which is communication to, communicating to the plc to change a bit in the plc side the difference with the indicator which is just changing the appearance of the object in the hmi side so of course how this should be in this case is just the lamp here and then it can work how it's supposed to you can see that it takes a little bit to change because first has to send send the, the message to the plc the plc has to make the decision and then the plc is sending the lab the lamp back to auto to the i'm sorry to the hmi to change the the indicator so that's all for this uh, this push button, the momentary. We're gonna see a real quick, a little bit of the difference with the maintain push button, which is pretty similar. Let's do it here. All the characteristics are the same. I'm gonna remove the audio now. And so all of this is the same. All of this is the same. We have this extra, we're not, we're not gonna talk about this. We have the command is the same and the connections, okay? So if everything is almost the same, what is the difference? Let's see, let's just get the second push button, which is PV2. PV2, okay. And the second lamp. Okay. Apply. So what's the difference between these two? If we can change all the appearance and everything the same, but the difference is this. When you, I push the button, it's on. When I release the push button, it's off. When I push this button, it's on. I release the push button, it's still on. Did you see that? So when this push button turns off, when I push it again. So it's on, off. That's why it's maintain and push button. Let's make a little bit of difference because it doesn't seem right right now. Let's just change this back color to this whatever just to see the difference so now you can see on off here on when i release is off i don't need to push again so that's the difference between maintain push button and uh, uh, i'm sorry this is the momentary push button and maintain push button uh, everything else is almost the same so i think this is all for this video i hope you enjoyed this video remember to uh, li do the like and share all this information it's going to be very helpful for me and well that's it i see you next video